Okay, good morning. I still have sleepers in my eyes, I bet. But good morning. We are currently on our way to Mossy Creek. We thought today was going to be this absolutely beautiful day. But we're actually trying to beat the storm there because a little rain while you're fly fishing is not necessarily the worst thing on planet Earth because it brings all of the insects into the water. But uh, this seems a little, a little bit gnarly. If I'm being honest with you, we got big storms coming in from the mountains and I'm just trying to get over there as quickly, but safely, as possible. So, we're at Mossy Creek right now and apparently there's construction going on and it's about to rain. But, I drove all the way to Virginia to fish this creek. I'm going to be catching a fish here. And it's going to be right now. <laughs> Me and Zachary are just out at Mossy Creek and unfortunately it was raining, there was construction going on, the river or the creek seemed a little flushed out. So we had big plans to go out there and try and catch some big butterballs, some big brown trout and maybe some smaller rainbow trout but unfortunately that location is compromised. But that does not mean we are defeated. Uh, there's a place called Beaver Creek where they only let a few people fish per day and you have to go out and get a permit to fish there at a small little country gas station. And Zach and I, we drove out after our unsuccessful rainy morning at Mossy Creek and we were fortunate enough to get a permit. Yesterday, when we were out fishing with Eric, which was an absolutely phenomenal experience and if you haven't already seen that video, you can check it out. Just you can find it. So we already have two species down So now we're just going after the third and the final species and I hope that Beaver Creek will come through on this rainy day in Virginia Stay tuned keep watching and I hope you guys enjoy and please Smash that like button hit that noti bell and also subscribe and also thank you guys so much We'll see you guys out at the river. Cheers Uh, we're out in the country of Virginia, and we're at Beaver Creek, as you can see right here, which is home of many, many wild and stocked fish. We're very, very excited. As you can tell from around us, we're in literally farmlands. You can only get here by permit. Only four people can fish here per day, which is really, really cool. And luckily, Zach and I were able to book for today. So we're gonna go fish around the creek, have some fun, look at the scenery, and hopefully we can get on the last species of our Virginia trip, a wild rainbow trout. We'll see you guys out in the field. Woohoo! 
Wild rainbow. Oh, baby! <laughs> Wild rainbow. Holy Zach, thank you so much. What is this? Hang on, let me come see it. Here, I just need to get this. It's a wild rainbow. This right here, it's a wild rainbow trout. Mm. He's gone. We came out, literally the first spot we were at, we're using a dry dropper rig with a, with a bigger nymph and with a, more of an indicator on the top. And I cast right in this little riffle. And sure enough, I thought I was snagged because I kept hitting the bottom, pulled up, and even though it wasn't the biggest rainbow trout, it was a wild rainbow trout. That's all that matters. It had the beautiful coloring on the side. It had the little clouds almost, of darker colors. It was fantastic, it was beautiful. And hopefully throughout the rest of this day, we're going to keep pushing. We've only been here for 15 minutes. We're gonna keep pushing down this river stretch right here and hopefully we can catch some more fish. So I just met with the person who owns this creek and uh, he told me a lot about what he's been doing and how much work he's put into this property and this little system for the past five years and it's just absolutely fantastic. Beaver Creek is a blue ribbon trout stream of Virginia which just means it is absolutely off the charts, pristine, A-plus fly fishing. Uh, Zach, he's my cameraman, and that last clip you saw, he was fighting the fish while I was trying to net it. And that was pretty, pretty insane. So everybody, hit that like button for Zach's first fish of the trip, kind of. You better do it. You better do it. So let's keep going. Hopefully we can get on some other fish, but I'm perfectly happy with these little wild fish. Oh, I didn't know I had a fish. 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 That fish was massive too. Got him. Oh, I did. Oh my God, you got him. Oh, what is this? This is not a trout. Oh no, guys. The bass? No, it's a little creek chub. Guys. Yeah, so this guy, this is a little creek chub. Uh, this is just a little bait fish, right? And uh, he's a stinky little boy. He ate my fly. Okay, I just caught a creek chub. I thought, I thought it was a trout at first, but it wasn't. But that's fine, fine with me. Dude, what's up with me catching all these bait fish? <laughs> harder than I thought. Uh, this is rough, man. This is rough. Oh. Oh. oh! No! 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 I'm retying. Come sit with me. No, it's good, it's good, it's good. It's 
part of this that should come right out. Can you see him? Why is Can you see? Mm -hmm. That was a wild rainbow trout. That's about as big as that yet, too. Here. Okay, so that's two wild rainbow trout for the day. That one I caught on this little, I don't even know, it looks like a little shrimp thing. This little nymph. Right there, he fought with the current. He was trying to get away. Uh, it's been a really, really frustrating day today. Just because of the fact that I kept missing hookups. There's these big fish in here that are coming up, but I'm pretty sure the bigger ones are stalked. So I'm glad that I'm able to catch these big wild trout and it's just beautiful out here. So let's, let's, uh, let's try and get one or two more and then we'll, we're going to call it a day here. Dude, this is my chance. So we found this really slow moving water with a bunch of trout in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back behind them and cast in front of them. Missed the hookup. Did you see? I, he literally put it in his mouth. He put it. So today, we went to Beaver Creek. Well, we went to Mossy Creek in the morning, but it was raining. Then we went to Beaver Creek. And to be completely honest with you, it's some of the best fishing I've done in a while. Not because of the amount of fish. Or, Gale or you know, type of fish. We were just catching wild rainbow, which I was totally stoked about. But it's just flat ground, cut grass, openings, and a beautiful spring creek. It was just great fun, and I've never fished here before. And after such a treacherous day yesterday, hiking literally up and down mountains, it was really nice just to take a chiller day. And my whole thought process behind this Virginia trip is to try to tell people to go out and fly fish, one, and two, it's just, it's therapeutic. And most of the time we're not even fishing. It's hiking and be, spending time in nature. And like for instance right now, you and me and Zach are laying out in the field Hi guys. in the middle of Virginia, just hanging out. You know, the temperature's dropped a little bit, it's overcast, we just had a great day of fishing. We had our highs, we had our lows, but in the end, it's a beautiful day outside. So, I hope you guys enjoyed our Virginia adventure. We went to a bunch of different places, caught the three main fish of this area. We caught wild brown trout, wild rainbow trout, and native brook trout, all in a span of 24 hours. You know, it was, it was really great. It was fantastic. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, Noti Bell. Zach, what else do you do? Subscribe. Subscribe. And we'll see you on more adventures. And also guys, remember, fly the worm. <laughs>